And Mark, as I mentioned, we're talking about integrity today. I'm sure that you've encountered men and women of great integrity who've leveraged their integrity for the influence of others. And so who are some of those people that come to mind for you? So I would start with my dad. Um, he was a very quiet man, uh, a pretty unassuming guy, but uh, his nickname actually at work at IBM was Honest, Honest Lou. But, uh, as far as integrity, I'd have to say Bobby Bowden next to my dad. How did he influence you to become a person of integrity in your own right? Well, I just watched him, you know, he modeled it. It was very simple to uh, see uh, the type of man he was working for. You know, you can't hide your warts for 15 years. You can't even do it for one season for that matter. What about your faith in Christ? How does your faith in Christ affect your, your drive to be a right. man of integrity? Well, it affects everything. You know, uh, if I were to say I had a life verse, it would be Colossians 3.23. You know, whatever you do, do you work heartily unto the Lord rather than men? I think people sometimes get too worked up about what's God want me to do? What's God want me to do? I, I don't know if He cares as much what we do, but how we do it. You know, when you are only accountable to man, to your boss, and he, he's watching you and you do things a certain way when he's watching you, what do you do when he's not watching you? Whereas if you do it unto the Lord, he, he sees everything and you know he sees everything. So that's the highest accountability a person can have. If we truly love God and we want to love him back, he wants us to obey. So I think every leader who's interested in leading with a measure of integrity has got to deal with demonstrating that integrity when they're facing you know, criticism for a decision they've made or for right. something that's happened. And as a coach, you, right. you dealing with the criticism was a part of your daily, daily right. deal. I mean, you never got away from it. Coach Bowden he says, if you can't handle criticism, get out of coaching because it, it's, it's coming. And it's not just coaching, it's leadership period, as you know. Uh, you could be a parent and you're a leader and you make a decision that your kids aren't really happy with. So, you know, there's going to be critics every time you make a decision. Someone's going to be happy and someone's going to be bent out of shape. And again, you have to decide who you're going to please. Once people understand, uh, you know, who you are and what you're about, it's not going to shock them if you make certain decisions that would be in line with God's Word. Well, Mark, I'm so thankful that you've taken time to sit down with me today, and thanks for being a person of integrity and for all that you've modeled throughout your entire career. I'm doing my best, and I'm, I'm getting there.